What's happening with the world? This video is about Tan the God, man. On 7-13-2024, Oakland lost a rising star that goes by the name of Tan the God. And what happened was she was at a meet and greet at her beauty supply store, Glamour, in Oakland, California, when um, someone approached shooting. Um, she was shot, transferred to a local hospital, where unfortunately she did not survive. Um, my prayers and condolences go out to the family of, and the friends of Tan the God. Um, this is very, very, very unfortunate. Um, but the reason I'm doing this video today is also because of the narrative that's being spread around what happened to Tan the God. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of vlogs. I'm seeing a lot of um, vloggers and a lot of um, sites posting that she got killed because of what she done. She was trolling her ex that she unalived during a domestic violence incident. Um, she, she deserved it. She this, she that. And um, I'm here to tell you that that's not the truth. Uh, Tan the God didn't unalive anybody. And um, what she did was a marketing strategy. That incident did take place. Um, it didn't take place with her. Um, Taiwan Moore, unfortunately, did lose his life. Rest in peace to Taiwan Moore. Um, my prayers and condolences to the family of Taiwan Moore. It was a situation of domestic violence. And what ended up happening um, was totally disconnected from Tan to God. It had nothing to do with her. And she had nothing to do with the untimely demise of Mr. Taiwan Moore. I actually first heard about Tan and God a little under a year ago, right? She was going viral for having this out this, uh, project cover, album cover, basically, with her ex sitting in a chair and she was behind him, but his head was smoking like a wood, a backwood. And it was called X Wood Pack. And everybody was talking crazy about it. It was going viral. You know, she was supposed to be this female who survived domestic violence by upping it on her her Eck, her, her, her dude and, and unaliving him and getting up out of there and um and I was like whoa wait a minute so that made me look into her right so when I looked into her I seen her on the Kid L podcast and and the way she was carrying herself on that podcast didn't put me in the mind of somebody who unalived somebody honestly you know what I mean I'm from the streets I've been around you know what I mean and just that energy, you know what I mean? I'm like, damn, either she's just nonchalant or she didn't do nothing, right? So then I seen her on the off the porch and she came up there with the tombstone, right? And she was so extra out. And she was talking about uh, she pissing families off and she doing X, Y, and Z. And I was just like, wait a minute, like who's in her corner? Cause this can't, this is not gonna end well. You know what I mean? This cannot end well. Like why ain't nobody telling her better than this? She trolling and did like brothers didn't have no family, friends, nothing, right? And this time went on, you know what I mean? I'm just like, damn, you know, she making some music, but everything she never said, because I'm trying to Google, like, who does she smoke? And I couldn't find her name. I couldn't find nobody that she smoked. I couldn't find nothing she done. You know what I mean? We live in the age of information. So I just, it just fell by the wayside to me. I didn't, I didn't care no more. She's another female rapping, but she was like the King Von of exes. You know, she's stepping on her exes, like they stepping on, on ops and she was rich and she talking about all this money and stuff, right? But... So I'm like everybody else. When I found out what happened to her, they like, oh, she got um, shot at, at her grand open. I was like, what the hell was she thinking? Having a grand opening with no security. You know, you got ops like, you know, you didn't smoke somebody. You know, you know, you got, you know, um, beef. Obviously, you trolling somebody after they didn't pass. You probably got family, friends. I know you did that to my people. I want to do something to you. I don't care who you is. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm like, damn. Everybody talking about, oh, man, they crying. She was a good person. She was this, she was that. And the vlogs immediately took off. The girl who killed her ex. It just didn't make sense to me, right? Yeah, Mr. Fab was supposed to be there. And I know Fab promotes positivity. I know Fab is not into the, you know, and, and worse come to worse, he would have took her under his wing like little sis. Check this out, man. You know, it's consequences and stuff behind what you're doing. Then my mom was like, maybe that's why he wasn't there because he knew she was hot. You know what I mean? These boys might come stepping on her because she stepped on somebody. And then what really did it for me is when Mr. Fab's uncle, Unc the Hunk, he posted um, what the victim of the situation was, um, Taiwan Moore's sister had to say. She put a note on there saying that, you know, um, Tan, the, Tan the God had nothing to do with the situation. I'm like, what? 
they said they know who did it to their brother, right? So I'm like, wait a minute. You know, and she said Taiwan. So I, I started doing my research. And I see that Taiwan Moore, you know, was a, a victim of a, a, a whoop de whoop domestic, I uh, mean, uh, was a, a victim to domestic violence. He got unalived. They were sitting in the car. The whole story, 18 year old, they said the girl's name, and it was not Tanda Guy, because I looked her name up after she got shot, and her name is Aliana Green, rest in peace. You know what I mean? So I'm like, wait a minute. This ain't making sense. And too many people was like, she didn't do nothing to nobody. She was a good person. It was, bruh, come to find out it was all fake. It was all a marketing strategy. It was all a ploy. Tanda God didn't, didn't do anything to anybody. She was a hustler, a good person, a money maker. She was opening up her new business. She had her grandma there. I seen it on live. And one thing she was doing was getting money. So, and I can say this. She was in East Oakland, one of the most violent places in America, you know, aside from the street politics and, and who she did something to or not, she getting money. Obviously, she opened up a beauty supply store in, in one of the most violent places on earth, you know what I mean, in America, basically. So she's very braggadocious about how she getting money. She's rich and, you know, and I'm like, wow, she really didn't have no ops, you know, to, to common knowledge, you know what I'm saying? But... What ended up happening is the lines got twisted with the marketing strategy and the ploy that she was putting out there that she was a strong female who downed her ex during the situation of domestic violence, man. I, it just wasn't it. Like, it didn't it didn't sit with me, right? So when the blogs took off, oh, she did that, she did see that, she unalived, it came back, her people stepped. That's not even the case. Now, bottom line is there's still a shooter out there. Somebody did this to tan the guy. Somebody did this and they're still out there. And Oakland PD, y'all need to do y'all job, man. You need to find the person who did this. Because like I said, Mr. Fab, I know he ain't supporting negativity. I know the Bay ain't supporting Everybody was like, oh, it's over for the Bay. Man, how how could we do this? And you know, what, what's wrong with Oakland? You know what I mean? I'm done with Oakland. Like, man, check it out. I understand that. But if she stepped on somebody... You know, you got, but see the way the the the, the compassion and, and the, the the empathy was pouring out for her. I say she couldn't have did that because people wouldn't be so compassionate towards her and come to find out she didn't do it. So I'm here to tell all you vloggers out there, this is the truth. Quit spreading those false lies about Tan to God. She killed her ex and that's what happened to her. That's not what happened. I don't know what happened to her. Now let's get it right. I don't know what ultimately happened to Tan to God or what what politics played a part in it. But I know she was getting money. She was doing her thing. She was a hustler. She had a lot of positive people backing her. And at the end of the day, she will be missed, man. And at the end of the day, it's an unfortunate, tragic situation that took place in Oakland, California on 7-13-2024. The violence needs to stop, man. It needs to stop. We can't keep killing our, our, our martyrs in the community who getting money and can reach out to other people. Like, this does not make any sense. But when I seen the brothers with poo shies on and hoodies on out there, I say, this is not good. You're getting all this money, you need to have proper security, Tan the God. You need to have it, and that's just the way it is. So y'all out there getting money, making business moves, thinking it can't happen to you, it can, and it will. Protect yourself, man, but also watch the energy you put out there. You can't be trolling the dead, you know what I mean? This was a situation, let me tell you how powerful the universe is. She didn't even do nothing. She wasn't even trolling the dead. And the universe still responded in a negative way because people thought it was projected that she was trolling the dead. So when you put that energy out, you're going to get that energy back. Now, I don't know what happened to her, but I know it didn't have nothing to do with Taiwan Moore because she had nothing to do with that. The whole, the whole marketing strategy and everything had nothing to do with her demise. So y'all cut that out, man. I, I had to set the record straight. You know what I mean? Upon investigation and everything I did, my research and stuff, I see this is a wicked, twisted story, man. Y'all stay tuned. Hit the like button, subscribe, and we're going to be keeping y'all tuned up with and caught up with everything that's going on, man. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Y'all have a blessed one.